no, io dico solo due frasi per dirvi chi è Nancy, noi l'abbiamo conosciuta all'inizio del 2005, eh, abbiamo deciso di condurre a termine una gestazione per altri insieme a lei, noi abbiamo scelto lei e ha scelto noi, eh, Nancy ha quattro figli suoi, ha un partner che è molto bello, si tiene a dirlo, e, e, um, Vive in California, a Redding, che è una città di circa 70.000 abitanti nel nord dello stato della California. I had four kids of my own at that time already and I knew I didn't want any more, but I liked being pregnant and I thought, well, you know, if you like being pregnant and you don't want kids of your own, maybe I should try something like that because getting pregnant was never a problem for me. I was talking with my cousin who lives in Los Angeles and I spoke to him about it and he is the one who suggested that if I was going to do this that I should do it for a, a gay couple because um, him and his partner had been trying to adopt for years and never could. So that's what made me think about working with a, an agency that works with gay couples. And when they said they had an Italian couple and did I want to come and meet them, I said okay and I flew to Los Angeles and we had our little meeting inside of uh, Growing Generations with um, Tommaso and Franco and um, it went well and then we went downstairs and had lunch and by the time lunch was done I knew that I wanted to work with them so they were great. I never once thought I can't give them this child, this is mine. It, I just didn't do that. I knew the whole time that I was, I was just carrying a child for somebody else. You struggled to have a child and it was something you wanted a whole lot. I had four children. I was ready to say, there's somebody else who needs to have what I had and I can give that to them. And it, I would not have done this for a couple who said, just have the baby for us and leave. I couldn't have done that. So, it, you know, it was definitely a way to, to build a bond with, with other people and to get to see what amazing parents, you know, they've become and, and, and how affected their, even their parents are, you know, um, having the younger grandchildren in their, in their lives. So it doesn't start out as a pregnancy that's your child. It starts out as a pregnancy that is somebody else's child. You're doing it for them. And you just somehow, even when you grow, even when you're feeling that baby move around and, and you're not sleeping because that kid kicks you all night long, you know, you don't get the same kind of maternal bond. You, 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 you love that child and you take care of yourself and you do all that, but at the same time you know here are these two amazing people who are going to make incredible parents and this is why I'm doing it. We are very close. I mean, there's sometimes we go for a few months without anything but a few pictures or some emails um, but this is my third trip over here to to visit them and I think of them as a part of my family in a way um, I I think I feel a bond with the children but not necessarily a maternal bond but I do feel a bond with them and it, it is it's it's kind of like we have these you know two separate families that have kind of meshed together to make one big one Especially my kids, my older kids and my younger kids, you know, they always ask how is everybody and would really like to come over and visit. My father feels a very strong bond with both Franco and Tommaso and his family and he tells everybody that he has Italian grandchildren. I think I would definitely have more of that maternal bond if biologically there was a connection. Ciao. Um, and so I, I don't know if somebody would have asked if I would have been younger and somebody would have asked for me to do a traditional surrogacy I can't say that I would have I would have done that um, I think it would have been like having my own child and, and giving it away a lot of alternative families you know in my group of friends and you know, 
in in the states it's it's a little different because it takes a mother they always say it takes a mother and a father to raise a child um, whereas here you think it's just a mother well you know I've raised my children pretty much by myself and uh, and I did a, a fine job I have great kids and uh, it just takes somebody who wants a child and who wants to love a child to to be a good parent I don't think it matters about any, anything else what your sex is what your your race, anything. It's You just have to really want the child and you have to have a lot of love to give and you have to have a lot of patience and you have to not like sleep. When we talk about surrogacy, the problem seems always to be the denaro. Like if for us, women, Italian, feminist, maybe because maybe that's the problem, il fatto che in un gesto come la maternità eh, venga, abbia come controprestazione delle somme di denaro viene considerata una cosa di per sé eh, non morale. When I got done with nursing school, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing it for because they paid money or anything. So I waited until I was done with nursing school to where you know, I I made you know, money-wise was fine. So I wanted to know I, that I really wanted to do it just to do it. Um, so there are some people who strictly do it because of the payments they get. And, and there's some of us that do it, you know, I, I think I would have done it had it not been there. It was just an experience that I, I thought, this is one more thing in life that I want to experience, you know. And I wasn't going to do it again for another couple. I thought I had my experience. I had, you know, I was a surrogate and I did it again for the same couple because they asked me to. I think that if a woman isn't completely sure that she can do this, she shouldn't start the process. I don't think you should make an agreement with people that something that, that is so important and such a huge, huge impact and then have a right to say, nope, I changed my mind. I don't think that's fair. It's, um, you know, she's, she's walking into a situation knowing exactly what she's doing, and you need to honor that. You need, you know, you need to, you need to fulfill your part of it and, and, and not be able to, you know, not be able to just change your mind. Anybody who's never had children of their own should try this because you don't know how you're, you're going to react to being pregnant and to having a child. I got a lot of very positive, positive, uh, um, you know, input from everybody around me. I did have one, pe one person that I worked with at Enlo when I was pregnant with Leah telling me that I personally was responsible for... <laughs> for the end of the world or something, for all the evil I was doing. But, but very, very seldom did I uh, get anything negative. People were very positive, and um, especially my friends, they all, I get emails the whole time I'm over here and they want pictures of the kids, and so a lot of, a lot of good stuff came from it. Moltissima gente sarebbe portata a interpretare quello che lei ha fatto come qualcosa di contrario, c'è cioè un atto contrario all'amore, no? Quello, la prospettiva che tu ci offri è invece esattamente contraria, cioè tu l'hai fatto per amore, tu hai fatto un atto d'amore, questa secondo me è la forza che tu riesci a comunicare, no? che, che, a, che a me è arrivata e questo secondo me sarebbe la cosa vera su cui sarebbe, import che, che sarebbe importante far capire, no? Che quello che fanno persone come te è proprio un atto d'amore. E quello, quel signore che ti diceva tu contribuisci alla fine del mondo, io ribalterei proprio, no? Cioè tu contribuisci a far diventare più bello il mondo perché dai un senso all'amore molto più vasto rispetto a quello che comunemente ha.